Okay, anyway. So, we need to head all the way back to Kieran Abbey. So that's going to be quite a trip, but eh, it shouldn't be too bad with, like, teleport and everything. I don't think you can use teleport here, can you? Be nice. You actually can! I didn't think you could! Alright then. That'll save a lot of time, because we don't have to walk through the freaking forest mound. Or forest prison, not forest mound. We have to go through the forest mound. Since you can't just use teleport through time, sadly. Ow. Way to go. But before we go to Kieran Abbey, I'm going to make a pit stop and add the hide so we can use some of those crest graphs. That's a good idea, isn't it? Okay. That's awesome. Going to Adelheid to create some spells. And somebody's playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Na na na. Okay. Adelheid. And I suppose. How much money do we have? We have a lot. I guess we can see if we can do any run into someone and see if we can do any more, you know. Donations! Yes. Apparently not. Okay. Well, it's, that saves money, then. And I would finish upgrading the bazooka, but... Guess who isn't here? That's right. Okay, so what do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So how many do we have, by the way? 7. Oddly enough. Um... I don't know. What should we get? I don't know. I'm looking for stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna do some magic making. A lot of these spells aren't really incredible, but they're kind of they're interesting. I guess we'll do that. Basically reflects for your entire party. High reflect. Good stuff. I want to get that blast. Where's blast? Where's blast? High blast. Where is it? I must have it. There we go. That's something I definitely want. High Blast. I think it's the last high level attack spell, really. Um, then we'll just do... Counter right up 25%. Why not? I mean, that could be useful. Counter up. I don't see myself using it that often, but still. Also have an attribute attack. Might as well. Might as well get that. Rainbow, though, that attack can be very hard to kind of analyze the weaknesses and whatnot, but still, it's alright. And we'll get that. It's not a bad thing to do if you just don't want to get into battles nearly as often. Invisible! Funny thing is, it actually does turn you invisible. It's kind of weird. Um, erase attribute, sure. I don't care. I love... Like, pretty much the rest of the spells I don't really care too much about, so I don't really care what I end up getting in what order. Eraser! So, I think that's basically, like, Dispel. So you, you can take off, like, buffs and stuff. I think that's pretty much what it is. Avoid Exhaustion. Avoid Exhaustion. Lifeguard. It basically protects from death. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So as far as moving things around, like, the only thing we really need to move around is High Blast and Rainbow, really. Everything else we don't really need to move around that much. Oh, this is much easier with a controller. <laughs> much quicker. And I noticed in my videos, you can actually hear... My, you, you can actually hear my controller, which I guess isn't really a big deal or anything, so... Hopefully that's not too big of a distraction. Okay, that works. And put invisible at the bottom, I guess. Put lifeguard up this way somewhere. Counter up. Now, I reflect needs to be... I reflect. That's just the way it is. Has to be. There's just no other way. You 
know what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, we're off to Kieran. Why do I always have to run into somebody? Like, always. I don't understand what's going on with that. Na na na. I guess we'll do this just to show you. Invisible! Yeah. And you leave footprints for some reason. Karen Abby. Let's do this thing. Let's do the damn thing. And basically you just need to go to the end of the sealed library. Where we, we fought Nelgal. Because that's where the book is. Just a little teardrop. Yeah, you know, I could have just, like, cut this out, me, me going there, but, eh, it really wouldn't cut out much time. There's not really much point. It'd be, like, a waste of time, really. Plus, this will be here in case someone's watching and, you know, they forget how to get here or something. So, you know. Oh, we got blue books. That's stupid. Well, I guess we could, could show off some of these new spells. Show off High Blast, for whatever reason. On these books, because they decided not to put new enemies here. High Blast! It pretty much looks like Blast, it's just much more powerful. And Cecilia's gonna dance, she's very happy she was able to overcome that blue book. Very tough enemy. I'm just wanting to fight them, I'm telling you. Okay. So no, we don't have to really solve any of the puzzles over again. Which is nice. There we go. Dila Metallica. The pages turn by themselves until it reaches a section on forbidden magic. As your consciousness wins, you begin to hear a voice from afar. Oh gosh. Okay, it looks like we're in some alternate dimension of some kind. But yeah. So this is an interesting dungeon. Ah! Where did we go? I don't know. Ah! What the hell? That was weird. It just kind of like... Forced me in, you know? got here. The door has been closed for two hours. Oh, I kind of remember this puzzle. Huh. I think this originally, like, stumped me, and I really didn't know what to do. You know? So basically, what you want to do... You need to walk around here to turn back time, I do believe. Ooh. Like a clock! Like clockwork. Only an hour ago, people were coming and going through the door. So, just use kind of... Common sense. It works. It makes sense. Only during this hour will the warm welcome of travelers begin. Oh. That's nice. You can also use the pocket watch to solve the puzzle as well. It's kind of a secret way to solve it, but I guess it makes sense, you know? Ah! What are you doing, dude? So we got new enemies. Pumpkinhead and Talgium. Which are yellowish books. Which I guess is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So we'll do a little high reflect. Just showing off the new spells. In case you're interested. If you're not, well, you're gonna have to see them anyway. High break! not cool, dude. Aha! Why don't you do high break now? Can't believe you actually did! I believe that's the first time we've seen magic actually being reflected, isn't it? Too bad it's weak as hell. Guess fireball does not count. 
I guess it's more of a special attack as opposed to a magic spell. So, yeah. Let's see. So we could do counter up. Guilty Blade! Bam! There you go. Well, okay then. That was exciting. Wait, you can't really counter magic, so... And that's all you guys are gonna do. So I guess Reflect only... Reflects one spell, and then that's it. That's, that's kinda dumb, but... Yeah. That's kinda how it works. Aha! Okay, you like died silently. Which is interesting. Seems like the fights here kind of give crappy experience. Probably because Rudy isn't here and they don't want you to get too crazy. This is the Song of Earth. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Okay. Just reading books, reading books, and yeah. My controller's wire is like wrapped around the freaking side of the thing. Okay. This is the song of water. It dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Okay then. All these books just laying around. Somebody's di disrespecting li li literature. It's, it's not cool. I don't approve of this. I really don't. Lifeguard. Okay. That's exciting. Bum 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 Guilty Blade doo 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 Yeah I'll do Guilty Blade, sure. Guess we could do Eraser. Why not? But Guilty Blade should get the job done. My HP starting to get a little low. I don't like that. You gotta do something about that, man. The Song of Fire, it dwells in the sword to become power. It dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. We're just collecting books, it's good stuff. Okay, we got another door. Okay, there's a save point here, and really important if you're interested, there is an enemy here called the ne the Necronomic, which actually carries the Necromicon. Which is the best book for Cecilia. And I believe... This is the only way to actually get it. So I would like to actually... Pick one up, right here. It'd be nice. Can we at least fight one of them? That'd be nice. This is not it, dude. Dude, this is not it. This is totally not it. I'm not liking it. It's not cool, dude. Eraser! Aha! It did nothing, but still. This is thought that counts, bro! Fireball! Bam! Okay, that was odd. But yeah! Okay, there, there's all the spells, so that's nice. Guilty Blade. So I'm gonna try and encounter a fight with these books, so I can show that off. And after that, if I don't get it, which I probably won't, I'm gonna try to keep fighting them until I get one. Because that's what I would really like to do. What are you doing, dude? Uh, what the hell? 
That was odd. Got some stair problems. There we go, there's the Necronomic. Wouldn't that be awesome if I got it on the first shot? Probably not gonna go down, but I'm just saying that'd be pretty freaking awesome. Hi, you blast. There you go. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and continue fighting these things until I can pick one up and, you know. I think we'll call this a recording session here. So, when we come back, I'll have a Necromicon dealio, and then we shall continue on here in Dila Metallica. So, I shall see y'all next time. Thanks for watching, guys.